Hello, this is Tech Tips with Stoman. Today we're going to be talking about screenshots, um, primarily used with Twitter. We've all seen the news, the media, where we see a picture of someone's tweets with quote, where people are quoting them. This has become more predominant as uh, Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, tends to use Twitter a lot to have direct communication with the American people. So it's a fairly simple process. First, we're going to talk about how to take a screenshot. That is fairly simple. To take a screenshot on iPhone 10 or higher, you're going to tap and hold both the volume up button and the power sleep button at the same time. This will take a screenshot. I'll be taking one in one minute. On iPhones 8 and lower, you're going to tap and hold both the home button on the face of the screen and the power sleep button again. And that will also take a screenshot. So let's begin here. We're going to go launch my Twitter feed. Here's my Twitter real quick. We'll go up, we'll see if there's anything new that I see that I want to do, that I want to take a screenshot of. Um, you know what, we are going to use Donald Trump since everyone seems to be taking care of him. There he is. So what you do is you go find whatever you want to take a screenshot of because it is the full thing. Uh, the best way of doing this, and we're going to find one of his that everyone seems to quote. Here, we'll use this one here from 35 minutes ago. We're going to tap this. So we're going to open this up like this so it's a bigger view on the screen. Once you do that, I'm going to tap and hold both buttons. This takes the screenshot. You see this in the bottom left-hand corner. We're going to tap where this picture is. And now we've got some options in our screenshot. We can mark it up where we want, but our primary goal is to save this and just his. So we're going to crop that in by dragging that down. We're going to drag that over to that. Now we've got a good screenshot of what's going on with this. <clears throat> so here we go. Now next what we're going to do, it's fairly simple. We can do a couple things. We can use the send to arrow and email it or text it to whoever we want. We're just going to close that. We're not going to send this to anyone right now. But when we're done with this and we're done our editing, we hit the done. And then there's a prompt really quick, save to photos. Done. Now it's saved in my camera roll on my iPhone. Since I'm using photos in the cloud, this will sync over to all my devices. This is Stoman with Tech Tips with Stoman. I hope this find this useful. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.